for draft number five here. We just came off a seven and one with black white, which is starting to look like the best deck. And not just because of that, but because of other people saying so. But we'll see. Hmm. This minister has been really good. I don't want to take a gold card right away. I think it's going to be a braid. I haven't had overwhelming success with red yet, but I think it's a good color. I'm interested to see if this one forward... Th this looks good enough. But I haven't been particularly impressed with black green. This card has been impressive. It sucks that you can't make wolves on the back side, but... Uh... Piercing Light's also been good. Since this is a curve out format, people just have little guys. Yeah, rare is nothing. This might actually be something we want to take. It's kind of a black red card, but that might be okay to lean into. I think this card's also good. I think this card's also good. You don't want to get too stuck on fours. I kind of like took some decent fours thinking that twos and threes would be available. They're not. So this is like way better to take. Um, I like this guy, but green has not been great. This guy is probably better. Um, I'm not married to red, but... Hmm. This is a tough one, actually. I don't really consider Bride's Gown to be much of a thing. I'm gonna try this. There's a chance we don't run it, but... Um... Now I kinda wish we had the Spore Crawler. I like this guy, of course. Evolving Wilds is also good. This is good if you have, uh... Training. Or this bat, for example. Hmm. I'm gonna lean on this a little bit. Ooh, this is kind of what we want. This is also something that we could have wanted. This is one of the better cards in the set, I would say. Non-rare, of course. All the rares are absurd, seems like. Save for a couple. Uh, we're not married to green, but this card is really good. Um, I really like this card, and this one, and this one. I don't know how hard we need to ramp. I think training is usually the best thing to be doing. But maybe ramping is also the best thing to be doing. We can always get these. But I think they're really good. Each non-vampire creature. There was a draft where I took four of these. and They seem to be something you can pick up. Green's not seeming as open as, as you'd want. I tend to prefer to not play aggressive decks, but I'm not like afraid to play them. In fact, I do better in aggressive strategies even though it's not my preferred strategy. And I think it's because I think it's because it's easier to see how to beat aggro than it is to see how to beat a bunch of value creatures. It's really hard to navigate value sets in the same way. 
I've been really impressed with this guy, but I think piercing light. Move these into a, a pile. We're not white, nor are we green yet. It seems like we're probably not green, which is unfortunate, because I really like this taxidermist, and I really like this child of the pack. I guess the thing to note about child of the pack, art-wise, is she's clearly a girl. Transforms into this adult male wolf, though. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, they got all the other depictions, like her dress gets ripped apart. But that is clearly a male wolf. I've been not impressed with Sporeback Wolf, but usually this this type of card is good. I'm not big on Bride's Gown. This is the best card. Just take the best card for now. Hmm. I don't like this. It's gigantic, but... Necro duality. We're pretty far away from even caring about that. It's kind of a decision. Because now we got this, which is pretty good. We don't really have white cards that I like. This is also something that's good. This is pretty insane. But we can't play it. And I do want to win. Another blue rare. Oh boy. It's hard to see what's open. It's got to be this. Could be this. This card's good. You know what? I think I'm just going to be red-green. I think that's kind of the decision that I've made. <laughs> just as this guy comes. Oh my god. Alright. My green still isn't good. I could still get off this green. A lot of good white here. I I'd rather be red-white, I think. But... We could just make this our entire 4-drop slot and just try and find as many cheap guys as possible. That's a maybe. Kills our things, though. Um, this card is definitely very good. We're at seven creatures and three of them are four drops. Not good. <laughs> we just I, I just want all twos and threes now. Hopefully with some training. I want like the training flyer. Because without life gain matters and training matters, traveling minstrel isn't even a card, which would put us at six creatures. Like I'm not just gonna gain a life and get plus one a turn. I don't do that. That's a five drop. Like it's one we can't pass, but like I don't I didn't want that. This this was fine. I don't even want to play five drops in this deck. I just want all twos and threes, and then I just want to play this one three and win. Hopefully play that one three and then play that one three and then play that one three. All in a row. This also helps with training. Haste. This guy's been pretty impressive. Especially if you have training, guys. I think
think this trick's fine. I just want to make a note about this witch's web. This is a great trick. <laughs> just, just in case you ever think about, is this good enough? It is. Combat tricks are usually not great among the uh, higher tier limited players, but giving indestructible is passable. Giving plus three, plus three for two is passable, but untapping and giving reach is, puts that over the top. This is a card some people are high on, I'm not, but I'd play it. I don't want to spend five mana to make a two, three late in the game, but sometimes like <laughs> very late in the game, you can make it better than that. I don't like this card at all. This is... <sighs> Probably something I won't play, but... Look at that, wow. It's a crazy wheel. This card's just, uh, quite good. Yep. Um, I'm still curious about that tapper, but we're in for two drops. I think here, even though this is probably good, we still need like cheap creatures. I think the Ridge Wolf is better than the Celebrant, but the Celebrant is better with Waltzer. Especially when we don't have like, like if we were green red, it would be more of a discussion because we'd probably have a lot more wolves to make that thing have trample and plus one. Right now it's seven non-creatures. I'm I'm pretty good. Six. Oh yeah, that was not a thing. <laughs> but, uh, I gotta remember that this is exactly two. But this card's good. I don't know how alluring he is. He actually looks kind of shady. I think he wants to, like, talk about timeshares at this party. It's like, hey, man. You ever want to own a house in Miami Beach? This is probably good enough. I wish that it cost three. I like this guy. But he's cheaper. With this glut at four and five, it's not a bad glut. It's like a pretty average one. I don't really have that much to spend extra mana on, so I probably play 16 lands, which is what I'm aiming for, of course. This card's really good. We don't have a lot of wolves, though. I'd rather have first strike. I want this. This is like a lot better, but I want this. That just incidentally goes with this sometimes, so. I wonder, so like, we got a play set of these Daybreak Celebrants, maybe even more. Um, I wonder how insane that is. Is it insane? Just to have all haste guys? We're, we might find out how good that is. Um, how many creatures are at two? One, 
two, three, four. I think we want this guy this time. The more of these hungry wolves we get, the more likely I'm going to just play all of them because they'll turn each other on. I don't like this wolf. That guy's okay. So this is a 16 land deck for sure. I don't want to cut this because in aggro sometimes you do need gas out of nowhere. We didn't get any training. This guy's passable, but not great. Hmm. Vampire Slayer probably gets cut. 20 creatures, just creatures then. Um, I guess we don't really need five of these. It's cute. Really works well with the death, uh, the first strike. Works pretty good with the trample too. Maybe we're just a twos and threes deck. I can't even put it back in. <laughs> what a weird bug. Should I report this? <laughs> Dumb. I kind of want to cut, like, this guy. This guy does not impress me. Alright, we'll go with this. This draft is kind of an experiment to just lean into this haste. You know, this, this idea that this format might be aggressive or something. Um, I can't get rid of a land. There's a reasonable argument to get rid of this. This is better in control than it is in aggro, for sure. But we could definitely get into a situation where we just kill one thing for six later and attack. And it'll help in a race. Imagine if he didn't have removal for this. <laughs> How fucked he'd be. Oh, this card is insane. I have to deal with that quick. I think we probably play this guy though. Just let him make his his training dudes. Cause we're gonna Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. If we draw a land we can just kill it, and we probably need to. This guy can pump even with this enchantment on, so that's pretty cool. I'm good with trading for his two guys. I'd rather just kill this crazy shit. Could blow him out, but this thing is annoying. Indeed. Hmm. 
We could trade. I kind of want to do that. But if we trade, then I can't play creatures. I guess we will not trade. Let's play two guys. He definitely stymied us, but he did play a rare. A rare for three mana that we had to spend six mana to kill. It's gonna stymie aggro quite a bit. We have this blood, which is good. But I gotta presume he's got some kind of trick here. Um. See, I could do this. He's going to blow out one of these guys, for sure. This Geist is not going to die. Alright. Yep, we knew that. Let me guess, no blocks? <laughs> it's a good turn for him. He must have a reach or a flyer. Because why would he let me get in when he's at 11? Oh. It's gotta be more than that, right? Another fight? Circle of Confinement. Mana value 3 or less. I think this is probably worth casting, but maybe not right now. I feel like he has untap and reach. Which would be pretty horrendous. And by when I say I think he has that... I don't actually think he has that. I just know that that would be the worst thing for him to have, so... Another wolf strike. I guess removal works. I should have just confined his guy. Braid. That's pretty good. Hmm. I think I want to trade this Geist. Kinda. But I'm not gonna. But I have half a mine too. There's like a long game plan where that would have made more sense because then he couldn't, I don't know, just, you know, like he gets this back, but then he puts this on something that I can kill. That alternate plan definitely was way worse than just abrading it and letting him get it back from the graveyard or whatever, but... But it's weird because this gave him an enchantment so he could do this first, but now he has to do this before he does the spirit, so that was just an error to exile my guy. Sure. Sick. I 
think our deck's pretty sweet. We stumbled a little bit in this game. There are decks that would have just gotten annihilated. Got a bunch of removal. It's whatever. I felt good about this. If the initial impression is right that this is a pretty aggressive format and we win back to back seven winners with an aggressive strategy and not everyone is attuned to that, we will probably make Mythic pretty quickly. Um, first few drafts were definitely a learning experience. They were not super fast and I did lose, so it makes me think that that might be the case. People are a lot higher on this than me. It's very slow. That's going to be a 1-2 for a good while. And I can always, if he pumps it, I can just get it with this, eventually. Here he could have plus 2, plus 2, and indestructible. That would be a really poor use of it, but he could have it. rather just get this haste on board. Sure. That's a rare. I'll probably just get that. Just deal with it. I can't block, which I don't care about, but I don't want him to make blood. I could just... no, nah, that'll get something bigger. Doing that pre-combat certainly didn't matter, I guess. I'd rather have a land more than anything. That guy's annoying. Um... Send in. There's a way he could have blocked that would have made that bad for me, but... I knew he wouldn't do it. I guess I didn't know. I had a hunch he wouldn't do it. But he could have blocked the uh, first striker with his 1-2 and transformed it into a 4-3. Um, so this is another pre-combat thing where I'm going to get blown out, but <laughs> maybe I get to just flip him. And he'll kill it, of course. this activation. Just clean two for one there. Put him at seven. Hmm. That was good here. Uh, I think, you know, I could do a lot here. I think the best thing is to do this and just get rid of, let him block and kill one of these celebrants. Putting him at one seems very good. Although he's technically at 2, because he can blood if he wants to. But it's a thing where, like, if we draw a land, we can just straight up do this. And this menace is pretty threatening as well. <sighs> Play 
Playing Boros aggro is usually not that fun, but when it wins, it wins. And sometimes it wins. Guilds of Ravnica. It made Guilds of Ravnica not fun because of how good it was. I don't think it's quite there here. But Ooh, and he gets something else? This was an insane turn for him because he's going to get the lifelink guy. Although he can't play the lifelink guy. So maybe he gets the efficient? He does get the lifelink guy. So there's an argument for just... Oh, he... <laughs> His last card was a swamp. Okay. There's no argument for doing anything else now. Um... I think giving the Celebrant plus two attacking and attempting to just like... No, I can't do that because the first strike. He really put us in a bind with that. I think we're just going to play this. And just try and straight up kill the lifelinker and get in. Okay. Um... This lifelinker is a thorn in my side. <laughs> I mean, not that much of a thorn. A slight thorn. A pin prick. The structure of this deck is really working for me. You know, like the first striker is into the plus two plus O oh, haste guy, into the flying haste guy. Seems like generally pretty insane. This is your classic curve out, two, three, four. This deck is not capable of doing one, two, three, four. You don't really have the stuff to justify it. But... I haven't seen this card too much. I presume that it does some work. I lost to it when a guy put it on a death toucher. <coughs> but, or the uh, backside. I don't think I would trade for uh, my 2-1 one, one for the 2-3 lifelink just yet. Because I kind of want to, like, attack. And maybe because of this guy can only attack with two guys the first time to flip and I can play the Celebrants off the flip, maybe I just attack with this guy and the Waltzer as a threat and leave the Celebrant back and just take my licks one turn with this lifelink just to get this bigger board. Because then after that, I can kind of just sit back and hit them with the Waltzers. <sighs> or just attack with everything, which is actually more likely since I have first strike on attack. This looks like a wolf strike. <laughs> Doesn't look like he wants to play anything. Alright. We're gonna see how good Waltzer is. This turn is not gonna be particularly great. Um, but next turn might be okay. Hmm. Yeah. You know. It's these guys. Yep, Wolf Strike. Called that shit. Um. Hmm. Next turn I can play... Oof. That changes things. Um, I think I still attack with the suitor.
Two for one here is good because he's stuck on mana. Mana, 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 mana. Men? <laughs> Women? <laughs> Children? So I can play this and I can uh, blood. Dope. We're gonna win this game. He's a dead man walking. That was a good turn for a guy who's stuck. Um, doesn't really matter though. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Turning things sideways is not that fun for me. I know people like it, but it's fun to win, and we are certainly winning. This is the worst hand we've had so far. But we're gonna have trample wolves. It's pretty sick. Pretty dope. It's pretty off the chain. It's pretty fetch. Yeah. Limited resources has this uh, this groan test or, or or something on the sunset show where they say card you see on the other side of the battlefield and just know you're gonna lose to it. I I just don't like this card. But people play it. People play the shit out of it. I would trade for this parish trainee. It's really annoying if it gets a counter. But notice how, like, I'm not thinking about killing the efficient. All I care about is the trainee. Um, I didn't play this for trample because uh, I probably would have abraded them. Sometimes my mind works faster than my lips, but it's always worth the threat of two for wanting. Even though it's like he paid, what, three mana and this cost two, it's not like a huge win, but it's a win. A card is a card, and card advantage matters a lot. Um, I actually don't want to block here, because he has something. We have the upside of having eight power swinging next turn. A braid. We have the upside of three power swinging next turn. <laughs> Boom. It looked like his, uh, his game hung up there, which... Almost made me think he had the option to do something like two damage to target attacking creature. I hate making mistakes. That was a pretty obvious one. I'm not worried about this in, until he can train. So. We missed that wipe though. Seems like pretty horrendous. target attacking creature is gonna die. I ain't worried. That was gonna be bad anyway. Nah, dog. I don't think this Epicure is particularly great. No. I played no, it so it bro. Fine and that's point. But we might as well be much after that. this blood token. And not drawing a a planes, of course. Fine. Now he just pumps this and pumps both. No? Well, I guess he has a rare. Makes sense. Let's kill this now. This is gonna be a loss. I think our red white deck is better than his red white deck, but he kinda got us. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Lose the game. I'd like I guess. to get a combat trick. Like the adamant will here. Him not blocking there makes me think he had something, so he wanted to protect his, his board. That's a something. That was the right target, too. 
I guess it was pretty easy. This has upside. This no longer has upside. Flying. So we can go to training. three here. If we go to not three, three and probably. then he plays a guy, that's bad. But we could win. We could still win. You know, our opponent has two creatures on board and more cards in hand and has played more things, oh. but has not drawn more cards than this, so... Sorry. Kind of odd, right? Oh, wait, 4-3. Or yeah, whatever. Like, he just played a land and he still has more cards. I want that 4-4 four, four Menace. That. Um... That lets us train. This is not a race that we're doing particularly amazing in, but... Because we go to 8, he gets a blood. We want the flying 1-3. <laughs> we got the flying 1-3, okay. Is this just the end of the game? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4... Hmm... It is not the end of the game. We could make him trade this guy. And then he'd have six on the crackback, so we'd be dead to, like, burn or haste. It's probably safer to just hang back. Get in for four here. Actually, it's probably better to do this. Make him lose this guy. So that was back-to-back -back losses against aggro, which is unfortunate because I thought we had a good aggro deck after three wins in a row where we're aggro. So maybe this is pretty aggressive, this format. I think we're going to risk putting a mountain back, even though it's pretty bad if we don't get a mountain. But we do want to have a two-drop and then like both of these guys. And this removal. I mean, we were pretty likely in a couple draws to get a land. So it was probably worth the risk. Unless we lose the game anyway, then it's just a sad state of affairs after the way we started. Syncopate. Nope. Um, we give it to the first strike guy because we want him to... Give us a blood token if he has the deal 2 damage. Sure. As annoying as possible. You know what? It's not even worth it. It's how sad that is. If he attacks, we're in trouble. Okay. If he attacks, we're in trouble. <laughs> yeah, we can't block. Can't afford to get blown out.
He can have a bounce spell, but that's not like the worst effect. I'd rather have built our board up. But we're aggro and that has lifelink. So. So if he plays a gigantic bomb, we're just gonna lose. It's not too many flash things. He could bounce a permanent, maybe. Whatever he does, all we're going to do is lose a 2-2. Two -two. If he gains life, it's pretty bad, but... But I'll trade this for his trick. Yep, that's fine. Ridiculous. I want to draw the other wolf. There's also a reasonable... Like, if we draw a land, like, discarding this and then just put, giving a wolf plus two plus two is not the worst idea. Hmm. Sold. I mean, that's a finisher. We get two for one, but... But we kind of need him out of the way for a second. Alright. Now we want the flying 1-3. And we got it. Hopefully he doesn't counterspell it. I think he's just going to put this second from the top. We can actually beat going around this thing. This 4-4 four four is excellent right now, as long as it resolves. Um, I think I'd rather play the Celebrant, so I think we just jam in with these guys. We'll worry about abrading his next annoying thing. back on track. <laughs> we are back on track. I think this deck is really good. I'm bummed we lost aggro mirrors, but... <sighs> Nerdy Girl, New Jersey. This hand really isn't even good if we had red and white. It's okay, only okay. This is one where I think the removal in two creatures is better than the other removal. This guy is actually not as much of a brick wall against aggro as it normally would be because it does cost a lot to bring back. It's really only good if they kill all of our other things. This card is annoying. Oh, boy. I'm just going to kill that.
syncopate. I'm always worried about syncopate because it's so playable. Yeah, see, that's not a very good play. I mean, he may not have had any other choice, but it's just not a great play. Drawing something that makes blood tokens would be sweet. That guy's good. I really like how well supported this uh, exploit mechanic is in the set. Like, this stitch assistant is pretty excellent. Yep. We're gonna jam with everything. Clear up his board, I guess. Nah, you know, attacking with everything doesn't even really make sense now that I think about it. I'd rather save this guy to just like double pump or something if we get another mountain. Or uh, maybe if we get another wolf, we can start just trampling over. Um, Hell of a game. <laughs> Even though I'm doing pretty good in this with this deck, that first game I lost haunts me. Because I just didn't sit and do the math. When I get up in the morning, have my coffee, play quietly, I read cards a little more often. That rare beat us. Full show. But not as badly as my not reading cards. We could have at least hung on, chump blocked, tried to crack in, tried to draw something with haste, suddenly beat him, but I just let him have it. Taunting. Um, <laughs> this card is pretty good against us. I think I'd rather just trade it as a 2-2 and then play this wolf and figure out how to get this 2 extra damage in on something better. Like, he gets a 2 for 1 probably, but we also do. Provided he doesn't exile our thing. If we just haste in this thing here and use our mana more efficiently, he just blocks the thing with 4 power and it feels way worse. Which would have been the same guy. We would have got 2 damage in, but I think that there's some upside. Yeah, like right now. And let's not even talk about the fact that he didn't actually have another throng to play. I'd rather him kill the combatants because we have a few wolves. Alright, so feels like we're in the driver's seat right now. Minus the fact that we don't have any land. But we have removal, we have a play even if we don't draw land. Um, the celebrants feels not great right now. Okay. Uh, I think we just do this. We don't want him to have this ever. This just exiles it cleanly. Syncopate doesn't beat us, so that's pretty nice. Oh my god, okay. We'll get him his one attack and then he can do whatever he wants. This is a rare, right? Yep. This is a good rare. Uh, at the beginning of combat, do annoying things. Affirmative.
the amount we want to land here is like significant. It's a significant amount of wanting to land. This card is good. We might lose this game. He's played only. Well, he played a crappy card. I stand corrected. Um, I would trade for this because that, that card is annoying as fuck. It's so valuable for him to be able to block one of our guys every turn in addition to tapping one of our guys every turn. A braid here would be pretty nice. This is not a good card right now in the graveyard, unfortunately. This 4-4 four, four menace is probably good because we get an attack with it. Look at this aggression. Man, he must have just gas. I bet you he's got to have, like, removal and bounce spells and stuff at the ready. Because he is low on health, blockers, <laughs> the whole nine. I'm worried about him board wiping, though, and then just, like, getting this back. Um... More than likely, I'm going to play this 4-4. Four, four. Uh, this Waltzer is going to die. That's clear. Actually, I'd probably play this 3-3. Three, three. No, it's the 4-4. Four, four. We'll see what he does. Alright, so he makes a blocker. We just straight up make him chump block. I guess if he has deal two damage, that's pretty bad. But... Syncopate would be bad. Got there. <laughs> I'm always worried about syncopate, it's so funny. It's just because it's so rough. Like, he would spend two mana to get our five. A five that we need. I love this Dream Shackle Geist. What a cool card. It kind of does what it does slowly, but it's... It's just real... What the hell? Why do people play this card so often? Oh, this is different than the one I thought it was. This is even weirder. We are in a race we might lose because of Whispering Wizard. We're just lucky that his entire board trades with our entire board. I guarantee you he has a bounce or something. Just to make this even more frustrating. We're not going to win. I'm, I'm sorry that it ends here with this stack that seems so good, but that's it. We are not going to win. In fact, I'm... I made a mistake, too. I needed to play both of these guys and just let them crack in the air for five, right? One and one and two. God, I hate making mistakes. I was so resigned to failure, too. Oh. I'm a bad player. <laughs> Don't watch these videos. <laughs> 